many industries at the beginning, it was uh, very chaotic. A lot of different technologies, a lot of different uh, actors and so on. And uh, very little standardization, you know, different voltages and so on. Uh, there were also other competing technologies at the beginning that we've forgotten about, like uh, distributing energy through mechanical systems or compressed air, etc. Today, we tend to think about the history of the early history being a competition between DC power and AC, direct current versus alternating current. Uh, but in fact, there were other kind, other thoughts on distributing power as well. Ultimately, AC current won, as everybody probably knows. One of the great aspects of looking back on the early days of the power industry is that there's this great human interest story, the competition between Tesla, who developed AC systems, and Edison, who uh, developed DC systems, which uh, culminated in the current war in the late 1800s. Uh, Tesla built the Buffalo Project in 1895, where he uh, developed a hydro station uh, near Niagara Falls. And because of the advantages of AC with high voltages, he was able to connect that to the city of Buffalo, which was uh, about 32 kilometers away, which was uh, an unheard of distance uh, in those days. But uh, up until that point, there was lots of skepticism, as I said, cutthroat competition and so on. Another thing I think has got forgotten a little bit is that even though uh, Westinghouse, Tesla, Edison are the people we remember, there were lots of other, uh, this was the Robert Barron era, so there were lots of other wealthy investors and so on trying to get involved in the industry. They tended to recognize that hydro and steam were great sources of power, but didn't have very good ways of distributing it. And uh, this uh, all culminated in the current war or the war of the currents that you probably heard about. Uh, one other thing I should add is since I'm a microgrids uh, guy, these early isolated systems were not really legitimate microgrids in the way we consider them today because they were isolated systems, they were not interconnected. And in fact, there really wasn't a grid, as we understand it, for them to be connected to. 